Cloudy water can be one of the most frustrating issues in the marine aquarium. It can come out of nowhere, everything looks bad, and in some cases it can even harm your livestock. Now, if you've dealt with this before, you probably know how to handle the problem. But if you're new to the hobby or you've never dealt with this, no worries, I'm gonna go over a few things that you can do to help mitigate the problem. All right, so first let's talk about particulate cloudiness. Now, particulate cloudiness is usually caused when you're by setting up a new aquarium, adding sand to an aquarium, or disturbing a current sand bed. Now, while it's usually kind of unsightly, it typically is not gonna cause a problem for your fish and coral. So the easiest way to get rid of particulate cloudiness is to use some mechanical filtration. Something like this felt filter sock is going to pull that particulate out of the water very, very quickly. The key here will be to check it and change it regularly, at least take it out, rinse it off, maybe even two to three times a day if this is a new setup, to make sure that it's working effectively and pulling out all that particulate. Another option to get rid of those fines really quickly is to use something like a carbon or GFO reactor with an RO sediment filter. This is gonna pull all of those fine particles out of the water really quickly. Typically, particulate cloudiness is going to clear up over time, but to help it out, you wanna make sure you've got flow going constantly in your aquarium. This keeps those small particles suspended in the, in the water column so that they can get trapped by one of the mechanical filtration systems that you've got in place. Now, if you're using something like Carib Sea Aragalive, it actually comes with a water clarifying pouch that can help speed up the process. All right, let's talk about bacterial blooms. Now, unlike particulate cloudiness, a bacterial bloom is going to look much more like a milky white haze in your water column. And it's caused by a sudden increase in heterotrophic bacteria. Now, these are bacteria that are gonna be feeding off of organic matter, leftover food, and any decaying matter in your aquarium. Now, bacterial blooms are most common in new aquariums that are just starting to go through their nitrogen cycle. However, they can be seen in established aquariums. If your water was clear yesterday and suddenly cloudy today, it's a really good chance that you're dealing with a bacterial bloom. The most common cause of a bacterial bloom is an organics imbalance. So this is caused by excess food, stirring up an old sand bed, or even a decaying fish. And those bacteria begin to re rapidly reproduce while they break down and consume those nutrients. The best way to deal with a bacterial bloom is to increase oxygenation. You can do this by increasing agitation to the surface by pointing a power head or a pump at the surface, adding an air stone, or anything of the like that is going to increase the oxygen levels in the water. And eventually, the bacteria will consume all of those nutrients and clear up on its own. Now, in the case of a really aggressive bacterial bloom, the bacteria are actually going to deplete the water of oxygen. This could cause a problem for your fish and inverts as they're trying to breathe. So you wanna make sure you act fast, get oxygen into the water, get that surface agitated, and that bacterial bloom should clear up. Another way to deal with a bacterial bloom is actually to incorporate the use of a UV sterilizer, which is going to kill any bacteria that's free floating in the water column and typically clear up that haze within a day or two. If you don't want to have a permanent UV sterilizer on your system, you could always go with a temporary solution like aqua UVs hang on the back sterilizer. You just add a pump to it and you're good to go. You should see results really quickly. Keep in mind, however, that using a UV sterilizer doesn't address the root problem. It may fix the haziness, but it's not going to remove the source of the algae bloom itself. And in addition, it's going to kill all that bacteria, adding that excess nutrient to the water as well. So really cloudy water can be super annoying for the aquarist, but with a little bit of patience, mechanical filtration, and the addition of oxygenation or a UV sterilizer, and you could be well on your way to clearing up that hazy tank. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.